This is a get home bag that I keep inside the trunk of my car. Everybody should have one. Do you have one? Let's go inside and take a look what's inside. Hi, I'm Rainy. And I'm Lynette. In 2021, we made the decision to sell our home in the East Bay and relocate to the foothills of California. Join us in our journey living the foothill life. Okay, this is my get home bag. Let's talk get home bags, or also known as an emergency bag. Um, I will try and post links down below to as many items as I can or something comparable to. But basically this is just um, a backpack. I think it's SOG is the brand. Um, an emergency bag, a get home bag is, say for example, you've, hear, you've heard about people being in blizzards, stuck on a freeway for the weekend and what you have is what you have. It could be simple as that or just being broken down on the back road and you're just kind of stuck without stuff for a little bit. So this should usually, you know, it can last you as long as you want to have enough supplies for her. But I have these set up for like two days for two people just in case something happens we have stuff. So I'm just going to go through as fast as I can just kind of show you what's in my get home bag and maybe it'll, you know, inspire you to have a get home bag or think about it or maybe you already have a get home bag. If you have a get home bag, comment down below. So, I haven't opened this bag for two years. I may find some expired stuff, I might not. But it gives me an idea. I'm just thankful that I haven't had to use it. But if I've had to use it, then I would know if I need to add or delete things from it. But for starters up here is just a paracord bracelet. And um, it's just, I think it's like 50 feet of emergency rope. I just kind of keep it strapped on the top. I guess you could wear it if you want, but it's there if I need it. So for starters, I have an MRE, meals ready to eat. This is tuna, chunk light water packed with lemon pepper. Um, it's an individual serving. It feels pretty big. I bet you there's enough for a couple people, but I think it probably has, um, although I don't remember, it might have other stuff in there besides just the tuna and stuff. Sorry, I had markers up there. I have a big knife because you never know you need a knife for anything. I have a couple of N95 masks. I have a life straw. These are good for like, I think it's 10,000 gallons. And it removes 99.999% of all bacteria, E. coli and whatnot. Um, 264 gallons, sorry, 264 gallons. I have a very small little first aid kit, boo-boo pack, you know, if you cut your finger, nothing, no major trauma stuff, just the basics. Advil, Tylenol, uh, smelling salts, band-aids, antibacterial wipes for your cuts. Just a little small something just in case. I also, in the back of my car, have a bigger first aid kit. I have a car jumper in case your car won't start. Um, right here is, I should have got some, I got, let me get my glasses. Readers. This is... A two-person tent, because you never know. You just never know. And this is a, um, I have a, no, this, sorry, this is the two-person tent. This is a blow-up mattress. Look how small that is. I have a pack of, I got two flashlights, batteries for the two flashlights. The batteries are not in the flashlights, but I have two flashlights. In case there's two people. Uh, a couple of rain ponchos are in here. I have some disposable toothbrushes. Gotta keep teeth clean. I also have, I don't know if you've ever seen these emergency food rations. These things are, listen, 
solid like a rock. They're like a brick. But this is supposed to last for a day, one day for one person. So here's two days, two people, or excuse me, one day, two people. But I also have MREs and I have some other stuff in here. Like I said, I'll provide links down below if you're interested in any of this stuff. I have some more. Um, this is raspberry and vanilla energy bars. And these two are just solid. These things are made to last, I believe, like five or ten years. They're a long term. Um, I have a little bag in here hanging. I don't even remember half the stuff that's in this bag. I have a can opener, just like a little military can opener, some little, uh, little gadget tool, bottle opener, looks like a little wrench, a little screwdriver, a little saw, a little tape measure, there's a little sharp edge on that. This, I don't remember the name of this, this little handy gadget. Apparently, a lot of, if you ever notice, like at big stores, malls, uh, gas stations, whatnot, they have uh, like a, it's not really a spigot, but a water outlet where they use this special tool and it'll turn on the water in case you need water. Like I said, you never know. You just never know. I have some instant fire. If you need to make a fire, this is, um, it's a fuel starter. Excuse me, fuel and optimal fire starter if you need to get fire going. I got some disposable gloves just because might come across something dirty. I don't know. I got <clears throat> a couple of rescue blankets. Those are the like the Mylar rescue blankets. I have two of those just in case it's two people. Those will help keep you warm. This is a little tourniquet. A little emergency thing here. I have in the front. Oh, see, I forgot about this. Emergency radio flashlight. It's the crank type. So you can crank it to get to work in case you don't have batteries or your batteries die. That can be real handy. That was in the front. Oh, look, there's a charger on it. A cord. I guess, well, you can have it charged, and if it runs out, then you have to crank it. Makes sense, right? And then the very, very front, I have some hand warmers. I have some zip ties. Like I said, you never know what you're going to need. You never know what you're going to come across. A compass. I thought it was cute. I think it reminded me of Star Trek. Beat me up, Scotty. Little compass there. We have a couple of those uh, glow in the dark sticks, the ones that you snap and you can lose, use to light your way if you're without a flashlight, if your flashlight stops working. Um, in the back here, I have some waterproof matches. I have a whistle. And I have um, four AA batteries that are just kept back here. Um, that, I think that's pretty much it for my get home bag, but I also, in my car, I also keep this bag. It's extra. Like if you were going to actually take the backpack on your back and get home, then you would put whatever you felt was most important. But there's actually still room in there that you can put more stuff, but I also keep this in my car. And oh, here it is. My bigger first aid kit, so if you leave this behind, you still have a little something that you can carry with you. I have a big roll of toilet paper. Who wants to be stuck without toilet paper somewhere? I have more bricks of food. So these ones are 2,400 calories each. I have two more of these. And um, it doesn't say for apple cinnamon is the flavor, though. But it doesn't say... If it's like one day or two day, that's a lot of calories, but again, hard as a rock. I've never tried them. I've read or watched videos where people have tried them. They say they're not too bad. They're just a little, a little hard. And then I found another one of these. So I actually have one. Here's another bar. 
There's another bar. I actually have more food than needed for a weekend. But then here's the one of the most important things is in this container, in this container, I have emergency drinking water. They're in these packs. And these have a shelf life, I believe, of wow. Five years, maybe. But I have quite a few in here. Plus, I always usually have like a water bottle with me. But I have, for whatever reason, if you run out of these, I've got the life straw here. You can drink directly out of something with this. So, in case you come across some ugly water, but you need water, you have something that you can use to drink with. So, looking in here, that way I don't think I have anything else. Yes, I do. Oh, feminine hygiene products. I don't need those anymore. <laughs> I just aged myself, didn't I? But that's pretty much it. So it's pretty much the basics. I mean, you can adjust it to yourself. Like I said, I've never had to utilize any of this, which is good, but on the second, you know, otherwise, I've never had to use any of these, which is good. But if, in a way, I wish I had to use it for something, even if it was just a spare a flat tire and you're stuck on the road for a bit, just to know what you're missing. But I, I don't really think I'm missing anything because, you know, I got food and water. That's the most important thing. If I'm with my car, then I can sleep inside my car. I got the emergency blankets. These help me keep warm. I actually also have a blanket in the back of my car, a brand new blanket wrapped up. I got food. Like I said, I got food. I got water. I got toilet paper, which is really important. I have a knife. You know, I got backup water, drinking stuff. I have a tent if I need to, but like I said, I'll be inside my car because, you know, I'm thinking now that this might not be a blow up mattress. I think this might be a sleeping bag now that I think about it. I think this is a very compact sleeping bag. But anyways, whether it's a sleeping bag or not, I know I have what I need to keep me warm through the night and to keep myself fed and water. I can light a fire. I can keep my hands or my toes warm. I can eat. I got radio to listen to what anything. I got a light. Well, emergency light because I have two flashlights. I have the snapping sticks that you can for glow in the dark. I can even brush my teeth. Minor first aid. I'm good to go. So, anyways, that's what's in my get home bag. So, comment down below if you have a get home bag. Or if this inspired you to get home back to get a to make or buy, you can buy them pre-made to get or buy a pre-made bag. Um, I know it looks like a mess right here, just because the way I kind of threw everything out. But I think if something came up, I would probably be okay. Because the biggest thing that you see when people have where they get kind of like I said, snuck in a snow blizzard. I can see where you'd be cold, but nobody has food. Nobody has water. They just have what's with them as they were, you know, making their way to wherever they were going, to work, to home, or whatever. But don't get yourself caught in that situation because it won't be, won't be fun. So maybe this, like I said, will inspire you to purchase a pre-made get home bag or just grab a backpack you have laying around and throw some stuff in it. Beef jerky works good too. There's a long time, long shelf life on beef jerky, water, you know. Anyways, if you enjoyed this type of video, please let us know. Again, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.